our inner personal emotions, the things we feel inside us, are a basis for communication. The part of our being that we call feeling is the part which allows us to express ourselves, to give to others. People communicate their feelings not only with highly descriptive sounds, but with spontaneous movements of their bodies and faces. We understand these expressions because feeling is one language common to all men. People also communicate their feelings and emotions through the visual arts. An artist shares his feelings and attitudes with us. He translates his inner experiences into visual form. There are as many ways of expressing feelings in art as there are artists. There may be as many responses to a work of art as there are viewers. We bring to art our own emotions and imagination in response to what we see. Our own fantasies and personal point of view may alter the mood established around us and within us. Man has always created works of art that reveal a variety of feelings in a variety of materials. of art is always contemporary. It reflects life. It stimulates change. The creative person responds to the mood of his society and expresses that feeling in art. Today, the expression of individuality and feeling is one of the primary concerns of an artist. How can the inward experience of feeling be translated into visual form? The expression of feelings in the visual arts depends to some extent on the medium the artist selects, as well as his skill in manipulating those materials. I stain them. The first thing you want to do is establish some idea, 
it's like an extension of my hand and I don't have to worry about, uh, you're not even aware there's anything in your hand. And that's what's really nice, because then you can start working. I work with manila rope because of the basically masculine feel to it. Well, I think the material is easy to handle. I've never had any trouble with it, and it always seems pretty successful for me. I'm much more so than uh, etching or dry point. I prefer the transparency and the buildup of layers of paint. Of how they're going to go about it, because that's a, you know, you just cannot go in for 10 minutes and say, well, we're going to start painting, and uh, these are materials and these are techniques, and that's how it goes. I think you ought to, you know, go in. Each medium has special characteristics which influence the artist and affect his statement. Elements of art also have distinctive qualities which can represent an individual's feelings. Line. Texture. Shape. Color. Light and dark in themselves are vehicles for visual expression of emotions. Another important way in which people express their feelings in art is to imaginatively distort or abstract their subjects. His environment continue to serve as inspiration for unique abstractions. Some artists record the dramatic movements of life. They are careful observers and interpreters of those human actions which expose emotions.
To find himself and his place in the universe, man turns to nature. essence of life itself, people can rediscover and express the feelings deep within them. Feelings are not tangible, but they may be expressed in tangible ways. The personal feelings of one man about his own world have been the basis for countless artistic statements, some timeless and universal in their meaning, others momentary and vague. Art, people, and feeling are inseparable. They are part of our basic experiences and existence. They are all of life. <laughs> 